doing, Olive? That green olive stuck out. We gotta help you, girl. <coughs> what are you doing? <coughs> Poppy. What is it? If you're barking at this feather, Puppy. Are you barking at this? Is it that feather? There's a lot of feathers around here, Pop. You got a feather stuck. What are you doing? You eating feathers now. Puppy. Weirdo. <coughs> hey, pigs. Hey, chickens. Puppy. Pigs. Yeah, I'm on pigs. You guys got no water, no food, spilling everything, making a mess. That's what pigs do, huh? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Chickens. Got the white chickens. Won't have these guys for much longer, but they're getting to know me. They still have some food left, huh? That's surprising. Getting the new temporary duck pen set up. They got upgraded to the doggy pole. They got a little shallow tote in there they like to get in. And a big food trough I'm filling up with water. And they're out here with a bigger three foot mesh cage. It's not uh, attached to anything but that shepherd's hook there on both ends. So it's pretty flimsy but the ducks really don't challenge their surroundings. So they're pretty skittish. It's just to keep Echo out and away from them. So I got the umbrella up and the shade is working its way around to their pen so I'm just going to leave it there. So now I just have to carry them out. I've been carrying out mumbles with all the eggers all at once in a tote. And then I've been carrying out the uh, meat chickens, the Pekin ducks separate than that. And sometimes I even split the Pekins three and three because they're getting big and they're getting pretty heavy for that tote to be carrying back and forth. So uh, this is what I have to do until we get the meat chickens out of the barn. They got postponed a week. So they will be going to the butcher this coming Sunday instead of last Sunday. And then I can get my ducks and my goose out to the barn where they'll have a little bit more space and it'll be easier to take care of them each day. I will have less access to water when I'm up at the barn though. So I'm gonna have to figure out my rain system, my rain collection system. So I'll be able to give them some uh, water and pools to swim in up there during the daytime. There you go, mumbles. Got them all out here, enjoying their fresh water. They can all get cleaned up, enjoy the sun, dig holes. Puppy needs to be a good boy. But they're getting heavy. So I need to get these things up to the barn so I can herd them and I don't need to carry them in and out of the shed. Racco, come here. Zeet, wife. Come on, chickens. All chickens go to bed. Come on, chickens. Come on, chickens. 
You're moving. You're moving. Come on. You gotta get inside the door, girl. All of you in here. Got all the meat chickens on the ground. All the egg chickens up on perch. What are you two doing up there? Trying to get out. Had to put this screen up so the turkeys don't jump out. They're getting bigger and they're getting flappy. Yeah. Got a turkey escaping. Hey, buddy. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh, don't go back there. I don't know where that goes. Yeah, don't go back there. Oh, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna take you home to your flock. Good boy, puppy. Echo is following him around. I didn't even know this turkey got out, but Echo is following him around telling me. Here, buddy, let's get you back in with your flock. There you go. Turkey are getting big, I guess. Almost time to take them out of their brooder and move them. Good boy, puppy. There isn't another one, is there? Is there any more? Huh? Is it just the one? Time to get the ducks out. Echo Pup's a good boy. He's letting me know that there's a chicken out. Huh, buddy? He trotted all the way up there and just sitting with the chicken until I come up and put her back in. Alright, bud. I'm coming. What's going on up here, puppy? We got a chicken loose? One of the Reginas. You loose girl, you need to get back in. This way, Echo, come here. All right, Zeet. Zeet. Come on, life. All right, all righty, all righty. The Reginas don't like being captured. So I'll try and just get her back in. Okay, all right, a lot of heat. So they're in their state where they are crouching down. Buddy. So they're in their state right before they're laying eggs where they're, what are you doing out here, Bonnie? They're crouching down so sometimes, see, it's easier to get them because they crouch down and uh, they freeze in place. And I can get them, toss them back in. So whenever they start hopping out of the fence, I think that means they're out of food. So I'm gonna get them something to eat, keep them occupied. Come on, pup. Hey, chickens, how you doing? You guys are getting big. We got the meat chickens, the Jumbo Cornish Cross. They're about 11, 12 pound chickens. Look at these. Look at these birds. Massive, just massive birds. So uh, these are going in a couple days to the butcher. Yeah, you heard me right, rooster. You're all going to the butcher. All the white ones are going to the butcher. And uh, today's Thursday. They're going Sunday. Hopefully they've been pushed back one week already. So hopefully we can get them safely to the butcher this weekend. And make some room for the eggers. So they don't have to... Oh, Regina. So the eggers don't have to deal with these big meat chickens anymore. We got the other Regina stuck. Come on, bird brain. What are you doing, bird brain? Turn around. Yep, there you go. There you go. I gotta work on finishing these gates. I did just pick up hinges so I can mount this gate because this is gonna be the duck pen. So I picked up a hinge, uh, set of hinges for this and I can get this closed off. I have it closed off right now just to try and get some of the grass to grow back. As you can see, the chickens, the girls, are not letting the grass grow on this side. I'm keeping them over here. I even let them come into the middle section so they can start uh, knocking these weeds down. But I'm trying to keep that section over there a little bit nicer for the ducks coming in so they have a little bit of something to pick through, not just the barren wasteland. And then hopefully we'll get some rain here soon because that rain harvest barrel is empty. All right, let's find you some food, chickens. Coming at you, coming at you. Go wild. Look at them go. They're eating machines, and the girls are like, hey, where's my food? Your food comes out here, girls. Give you some more space. There you go, and then the meat chickens come running. Look at them waddle. 
Look at these waddling chickens. You couldn't even run the whole way. You got tired, bud. Did you get tired on the way over to the food? Look at them walk. They're the funniest little things. A oh, puppy. A oh, buddy. Yeah, you got chickens all around you. Come on, big fella. Get in there and get some meat. Look at the comb on you. You better be a girl. You better start laying some eggs. You looking for a snack too? Yeah, your bowls are all empty. There you go, pigs. Chow down for a snack before dinner. Echo, what are you doing? Buddy, eat. Don't pick on the Reginas. Gotta take the bucket down with me to get water and bring it up back up because it's not raining anytime soon, huh, puppy? Come on. They make such funny sounds when they're eating. Look at that foot, though. Wow. Look at that foot. Massive. What sounds are you making? Cut the ducks out. Hey, don't chase, puppy. Come. Zeet. Zeet. Bye. Here you go, fresh water ducks. Hey chickens, is it morning time? This is our last day with the Cornish Cross. We're going to the butcher tomorrow. And they are big. Buddies. It finally rained, so the girls are actually outside, probably picking up some bugs. Pigs are all stacked up in the corner. What are you doing, pigs? You ready for breakfast? Eat. Life. Got puppy out with the ducks in the back, and the turkeys are getting their first time out. Turkeys were getting a little big for their brooder, so I wanted to give them some space. Just an update on the field pond. This is where it's sitting right now. We did get about an inch of rain last night, so we do have some water in the very bottom. That's promising. It is starting to fill up. That's higher than it was this morning. Puppy's trying to get down there for a drink, but it's pretty steep. A oh, buddy. Let's see if he can get down there. <laughs> He's working his way. Oh boy, buddy. Ooh, too much. But yeah, it's looking a lot nicer being bigger. And I have this side sloped. And uh, hopefully it'll fill up with water and hold water because we want to build a big pond out here, but we want to make sure it's going to hold water and not just be a massive hole in the field. So this will be the next step of the field pond to test out a bigger hole like this so hopefully we'll get some rain it'll fill it up and we'll see if we can retain it where are you trying to go pig where are you trying to go I'm trying to meet a chicken see if one wants to meet you too buddy you want to meet a chicken What are you doing? You sniffing or are you eating? All right, back it on up. Back it on up. Can't let you escape, buddy. Jeez. 
I don't know if he's trying to eat you guys or not, bud. This is my last day with my Cornish Cross. They're 12 weeks old and they are plump. Look at that butt. So we got 14 Cornish Cross going to butcher today and they're about 12 weeks old and they're about 12 pounds. They are, <clears throat> they are big chickens. Like look at this guy. Yeah, look at you compared to one of my eggers. That's it, Bonnie. You're all alone with just your ladies now. Oh, you're not Bonnie. You can see how they're crouching down, so they're definitely getting close to egg laying age. Puppy, you chasing them all out. Yeah, there's no more white ones, bud. We just got all ladies in here now. We got the pen ready for the ducks. The ducks are gonna be moved up here today.